make it too slow that it's too boring. But again, by coloring these in, you're getting a feel. You're like carbon, carbon, carbon. And then you get down here at the bottom, and you see it's a little bit different in there. You got a nitrogen. You got your carboxylic acids. So lots of green negatives down here. You can draw the aliens in if you want. I'm not going to take the time to do that right now. Up here, a couple ends again. So what was at one time a threatening, scary, big molecule, a reaction. Oh my God, a reaction. We're adding and taking away stuff. So there's the whole thing. It's called citrulline. This is the one that smells like watermelon, remember? Two L's. Citru, let's do uh, lean, lime. So there was a phosphoryl group that took off, a phosphate, however you want to call it. Now, what's neat is what actually gets added to citrulline here is going to turn out to be an amino acid. So let's draw our amino acid backbone. We know that real quick, top of our heads, right? Triangle, diamond, diamond. This is a free amino acid, so it's going to be sh hanging off the Schroeder carbon here. Or the prime. So there's usually always a carbon off that, so we can draw that in now to show that it's going down. Oxygens. All right. Double bonded O on that. Actually, it's going to be a carboxylic acid if it's free, so there's that. Proton dot. Draw the H's in so far, and two, those are hanging. Usually both these had another bond going somewhere when we were drawing them. Boy, this is confusing trying to move this thing on the camera. So what are we coming down to? All there is now, you want to color it in? Take little baby steps, and we won't get too far ahead of ourselves. We'll double correct ourselves while we're doing it. Any other green in there? There's OH. So see the color coding is just priceless on this. That carbon's done. This carbon's done. Nitrogen's done. we got to find that blue crayon. I don't like this purple spit. Now, coming down here, all there is for aspartic, aspartic acid. So this is going to come in to the citrulline. All it gets is another carboxylic acid down here. Which is a double bonded O. And the OH. Finish off the carbon scheme. One, two. So look at that. We just drew an amino acid in seconds flat. Actually, I had the green in there. Let's put another green. That's the OH group. Double bonded O, carboxylic acid, that's done, color it in. That carbon up there has got its bonds. This is real chemistry, kids. I can't stress it enough. It looks like child's play, but this is all that the chemistry professors are doing at the major universities, drawing this on their blackboard right now. It's not half as colorful or cool as it is with you guys. So... 
four reactions and you recycle. That was step number two. Coming in for three now, we're going to put the aspartic acid on the citrulline. And just by character, what it does is it changes a name on this because it's going to turn out to have, have an arginine character. So let's use the color pencil here. This up here is going to be arginine. Arginino succinic. Succinate. See, ic acid, if it's ionized, goes to eight. Argino. Arginino. See, I even spelled it wrong here. Ar I. Arginine. I N I N. Hey, I'm from Cincinnati. I can spell that. Or oh, look at that. I just ruined that on you. I'm sorry. Argino. There's no E. This Argino. Arginino. It's Italiano. Arginino succinate. I wouldn't say that on a Brooklyn street corner, but still. Arginino succinate. Most of the interesting stuff is going to be up top here, so we're going to start at the bottom. Nothing has changed on the bottom, even on the citronine. We're adding onto the citronine here. We're taking aspartic acid onto that, so we're going to condense the right portion of this and focus on the top. So let's just draw this out here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. There's still five carbons up there. Just draw the diamonds. See the beauty of this? You don't even have to worry about it. Just draw the diamonds. Do the blanks later. This is so much easier than just drawing the letter. Where was I when I was in college? This would have made chemistry so easy. I need to move this over. See, I'm getting too close here. Ugh. Okay. Number them. One, two, three, four, five carbons. Got a carboxylic acid down here, double bonded O. OH. And off here. Straight carboxyls coming up. So watch one, two. One. Did I say heart carboxyl? I meant just. There's a name for these straight carbons. <laughs> I can't think of it. Okay, now it gets complicated, but we're going to take it one shape at a time. This gets a triangle, and we're going to aim it off. I should have done this before. And remember, ends are supposed to be bigger. See, I keep drawing them smaller. So here's an end on the end of that carbon chain. It's still looking like that up there, right? Okay, now we can save some space here. Draw the diamond this way. Say diamond, yeah, diamond to a triangle. Wow, to a double bonded triangle. This is cool. This is a neat molecule. I'm not drawing it bigger, am I? Okay, double bonded on that carbon there. And then it goes to, oh boy. This is so easy. I'm telling you, without doing this diamond technique, this would be a nightmare. Just draw the carbons. I mean, don't even worry about it. See, I'm getting all worried. And I should just draw the carbon. Two more carbons here. That's all there is to it. Kids, this is the only way to learn chemistry. So now the carbons are at least next to each other. 
Let's take a little break.